interesting. Besides Coos, who is still on his way back from the land party. Nice, the cheering in the chat already starts. Good job, ex <laughs> escape. Indeed, go expert. Let's see. We just restart the map. And hopefully we'll see some expert plays dropping out of the lineup. Uh, Hans is, isn't able to play today because he has to study for uh, for the university. So he hasn't uh, too much of time this week to practice the maps. Though I guess we're fine. We're at least enough players. And here we go, the first round of this day's match. We go live with a lineup for HPD. It is Zafang, if I'm not mistaken, no idea how to pronounce this. Uh, it's Bomber, Pamplemousa, Hanger, and Optimus. On expert side we got Royal, Bax, Sling, Calf, and Sky. We're live into the first round and are following Calf, who drops a bit behind the main field. Let's see, yes. One of the HPD players already crashed and there's the second mistake. I guess it has been... Oh no, it was Sky who crashed, who drops down a lot in the rankings. Kev still on the sixth position. It's Lincoln Becks in the lead for tenth behind the world record. Bomber is following on third. As well as Royal and Safang. Safang is able to maybe overtake Royal. Yes, he... No, it was Bomber who got overtaken by Royal. My bad there. And it looks like Team Expert win, will win the round with, indeed, three players. First round in favor of Team Expert, 1-0. Hey, Molly. And also, hey, Jinjo. Really, it is Zapfan. <laughs> So many German names on HPD side. It's really confusing to pronounce them German while talking English. And it also sounds bad to pronounce them English, so I don't know what I will do now. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're seeing... Oh, I guess it was... I don't know who it was. It was Bex who made a mistake. Left Royal and Sky in the top, together with Sling, followed by Kef, so... It's still a four players lead for Team Expert, though Zapfan is overtaking Kev. Optimus made a mistake as well as Royal, I guess. So it is Sky and Kev in the front to defend the round for Team Expert. They are probably able to do so. Sky wins the round over Kev, but Bex got overtaken, or was it Bex? I'm not sure by Optimus in the last turn, but it, sh it didn't change the picture at all. We go 2-0 for Team Expert. Same question as every week, guys. Are my settings okay? Like the in-game sounds, the video and uh, my voice. Why I'm waiting for the answer to this, I will follow Slink for this round too, is at second or third position fighting with Royal and Sky for the top let's have a closer look at the end of the field oh Pamplemousa did a crucial mistake falling back a lot so let's follow Bomber if I can find him yes I wow he also seems to have made a mistake also behind the field as well as backs also Sky is going low on speed will probably be uh, stay in front of Bomber who isn't able to overtake him while we see another HPD player making a mistake so it is really looking good for Team Expert to win this round once more yeah Mali I know <laughs> uh, we got new logos of course uh, I didn't have the time to, <coughs> excuse me, to uh, switch them out, so I'm still going with the old one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, round number four. We got a 3-0 lead for Team Expert, who are also uh, as well going good 
in this round as we see Hanger making a mistake early on in this round. As well as uh, Pamplemusa, I guess, he's dropping down and falls behind with half a second, even more now. Back Sky and Royal are in the front for Team X, but as well as Slink who just pops out out of Bex, <laughs> who's going really tight in this corner. Still for play lead for Team Expert, let's follow Royal to have a better view of this phalanx. They are... Uh, Bomber is in close pursuit, at least he was in close pursuit of the four. Drops behind a bit more, so this will be indeed another round for Team Expert. Even with an ace, we see 58.59, 58.66, 58.68, 58.92 and 59.07 by our guys, which is an ace, which means Team Expert goes up in front with 4-0. As I just recognized that the players are indeed driving times during the rounds, it could be pretty good to have a look at the Denny Mania records at this point. We have Kronos with uh, the WR, uh, with a time of 58.21. I didn't see Kronos in the Denny Mania records on the last map pack too much I guess if I saw him uh, at all I don't know <laughs> so he's back with a nice time let's see who of the players we got the Daily Mania records let's follow Hanger so you get an overview while I'm looking for the records it's Bex on place 14 with a 58.32 we have Royal on place 20 with a 58.37 and that's about it by the looks of it. 10 players, 2 on the Diddy Mania records. And this round again is looking to go in favor of Team Expert who are in the lead with uh, 4 players again, once more. They will take it to the finish line, the only one crashed is Kev. He's able to finish though, as well as Optimus who decides to go for the outside line there. Oh, such BM. 5 0 for Team Expert, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'm not. Two rounds to go. Let's follow Kef another time on this round. And for this round, HPD really have to step up their game if they want to compete with Team uh, Expert at this point. I mean, they're not driving bad or slow but they're crashing quite a lot so that is what is making the difference at the moment even though wow just as I said it or just as I wanted to say that Team HPD is able to uh, do a better job of this this round two HPD players crashed being Zapfan and Pampelmuse Meanwhile, Team Expert is in the lead with four plays again. So they're really looking to bring out the aces. As we saw Bex crashing shortly before the end, as well as Hanger overtaking Kev. Though this won't pay, uh, change the scores in the end. It is another round for Team Expert, bringing the score up to 6-0. The potentially last round of this first map. It's 6 0 for Team Expert. We're following Hanger in this round. He did a good job with finishing at the fourth position in the last round. So let's see if he's able to <laughs> repeat this. I guess who, who failed? Oh, it was Bomber. Pretty much uh, turning upside down. Is behind with more than five seconds now already one or two CPs. Though this round is a bit closer than the f uh, the ones before, we see Bex and Slink holding the first two positions for Team Expert, qu um, closely followed by Zapfan and Hanger. Though it is still looking to be another round for Team Expert closing out the first map, which will uh, which they will do right now 7-0 again. 
I guess this was the... Let me calculate, we had six maps so far. Played seven now. This should be the fourth map we're playing to zero, so this is pretty good. This time I won't forget to take a screenshot. <laughs> as I did last week. So the first map, uh, map ended with, an, with a clean 7-0 for Team Expert. Sling Sky, Bex and Kef did the best in the scoreboard, followed by Zapfan and Royal. Hanger, Pamplemousa and Optimus were falling out of the picture a bit. No, I don't want to see the settings, I just want to see the map. The second map we will play is called Crystal and was built by Link. Yes, our very own Link, who is uh, building competition maps quite a lot and the quality of these maps is usually pretty high. As well as this one, I'd say. I didn't drive the maps too much myself, but everything I saw was pretty fine. Coming up to this turn, where we will see a so-called wall slide, you're uh, able to... Yeah, how should I explain it? You're able to just drive through the corner while staying at the wall. You maybe think you will lose uh, speed out of this, but you won't, as the turn is um, pretty tight and you would lose at least as much speed if you go, uh, go for a slide. So this is a pretty interesting turn for the map of uh, uh, for this match, of course. Will be interesting to see if players will be able to do it consistent or not. I cannot imagine it to be too difficult as I always tried it myself when I drove the map and I crashed quite never. <laughs> you definitely can go over the wall if you're going into the wall too late with too much of speed. It uh, with too much speed. I guess we will see pretty much everyone doing this. I don't wow, I don't see people going for the slide there as it is not faster on the one hand and not much less uh, not much less risky than going for the wall slide. Let's see what uh, Maastricht will do in this round. Will he go for it? He will. And I'd say he had it quite good. I guess it's good to touch the wall at the last possible spot. But not... Wow, this is really hard to explain. <laughs> also, I'm losing words right now. I'm so damn tired. Mm. I'll just wait until we're in the turn for the next time again. And I'll try my luck to explain how to drive it again. Royal is saying solid. Two wall banks, two fails. Well, obviously it is possible to fail the turn quite often. Alright, one last warm up and we will start the second map. Do you guys in the chat have any question about the match, about the tournament, about Team Expert in general? If so, go ahead and ask while we're waiting for map 2 to start. I will have a zip of water and be right back. Oh, that's Mecca. Nice. A former teammate of mine in Team, X, uh, team Easy Killer. Nice guy. And I guess he really stepped up his game during the last year. Will be interesting to see what he is able to do on this map. Okay, excuse me, I hit the microphone with my water bottle. Believe it or not, it's, it's just hard to focus on Tremania if you're tired. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but it's hard to keep up with what is happening during the rounds. So, 
glhf is exchanged are exchanged and we will go live with the third map for team expert we will have back sling royal sky and slink on hpd side we still have six players in the lineup so let's wait and see who will drop out i don't think it will be mecca i will call him mecca from now on and indeed he will stay in the lineup together with pamplemousa again burst bomber and wildsau so i guess this are there are three three changes on hpd side as Koons is still missing, he won't play this track. I guess he trained it a lot. He actually is the one finding out about the wall slide. So let's hope it won't be too much of an issue that he isn't available for this map. He's still on his way back from a land party. So, oh, and we already see how you won't, uh, how you don't want to approach the turn. As Link came in very too much. Uh, you know, on the inside before he hits the wall so you fall down really bad let's follow Royal who is actually on the third position Sky is leading in front of Royal and Burst Wiltzau is up there as well let's see where Mecca is he is <laughs> oh, last in the field at the moment Sky will finish this round uh, on the first place if he won't make a mistake. No. Royal follows him. Both ways nice times. I guess 102s are not too bad for this map to drive in a match. And we saw Roy um, Sky with a 102.87. Uh, Royal with a 102.96. Winning this round. Wow, why all of these guys have confusing names. I mean, clicks and mecha are even much uh, less problematic to pronounce <laughs> than Maastricht and Pamplemousa, at least in an English cast. So, wow, thanks guys. We saw Sky crashing really hard in the start, already down with 5 seconds. As well as Bex, who is though over, uh, is able to overtake... Was it mecha again? Did he make another miss? Yeah, he did. So it is uh, Bex to gain the 8th position. While Burst is leading the field, let's have a look at Burst, who seems to do a great job here, although he gets overtaken by Royal Link and Wiltzau. Still doing not too bad on fourth position. And if he will be able to overtake Slink and maybe Wiltzau will be able to overtake one of the guys in the top, this still could go HPD's way, but no. No mistakes in the end, Royal finishes with a 102.89, followed by Link with a 102.91. Wilza was able to finish at the third place with a 103.13, followed by Slink with a 103.16. Not too close of a round, I'd say. Round score is 31 to 24. Yes, guy that escalated. Falling down really bad in the last round, so... Let's see, what is Slink doing in this round? He's actually doing okay in the scoreboard right now. He is at 6th position with 11 points. 8 points behind Royal who's in the lead with 19. Slink made a mistake right away when I'm specking him. Spectator's curse. Let's see what is uh, what Bomber is doing. This round actually looks quite blue in the top I must say. Though we have two blue players at the end of the scoreboard at the end of the live rankings this is looking <coughs> excuse me this is looking to be another red round while link royal and Bex are overtaking a uh, burst right now so this could as well be a three person lead for team expert in this round no burst is able to at least defend his second place Though Royal was able to overtake him with a 102.83. He said he w uh, would be untrained, I guess, before the first round started. Though he was able to nearly win every three rounds so far. He got two first places and one second. Which is really great. <laughs> Let's see if he will be able to continue this streak. 
Let's follow Mecha for this round. He made quite a lot of mistakes, only with 4 points so far, so he got last 2 times and one place better than last one time. His best time so far is a 106.84. I'm really sure he can do faster as this is 4 seconds slower than Royal did. So wow! Was it Sky? Indeed it was. <laughs> he turned upside down, taking the wallet really, really bad. I didn't see exactly how he did it, but yeah, we all saw the result. <laughs> He's dead last right now. Slink is leading the pack in front of Burst, who is, a, uh, who is really doing a great effort here. Second best of the scoreboard with 23 points. Did ro no, it wasn't Royal to make a mistake. I don't know if anyone made actually uh, ma actually made a mistake there. Though the the field is really uh, going wide. And this no won't be a point for HPD. It is Team Expert to win another round to bring the score up to four zero. Let's follow Bex for this round. He is doing okay in the scoreboard. <laughs> Just as I said about Link. Both are uh, Slink, I mean, both are in the middle of the scoreboard right now. Royal is still leading. Was able to secure another second place last round, so he's at 38 points from possibly 40 at the moment. This is how you take the wall slight. I just will stop explaining and let you guys make it a uh, making an own picture <laughs> of the turn. Yeah, indeed, that has been a lot of crashes last round. I don't know what what's happening there. Let's see where Mech is. He's fighting for seventh or sixth position against Royal, making the mistake though. So Royal is able to go away. Wow, I'm so... I'm, I'm missing words so much tonight. I'm really sorry. I get confused with everything <laughs> right now. Alright, we finally see Burst winning a round. I don't, I'm not sure if he were... No, I don't think he won the last one. This time he will. Which sadly won't bring up one uh, point for HPD. Who are down with 5-0 at this very moment. Let's hope to see a bit of uh, less crash here in map <laughs> around this time. Let's follow Royal for this one and HPD is up to a great start with Mecha, Burst and Bomber up in the front, taking four out of the f uh, first five positions. Sky though is able to defeat his first place for the moment. Royal is a bit behind on place 5, is able to go up to 3rd place right now. Even overtaking uh, Link. Sky Royal Link and Bex are now leading the field in this round. And it is really looking to be another point for Team Expert to bring up the score to 6-0. If no one makes a mistake in the end, this is exactly what will happen. There we go. Link got overtaken by Mecha in the last turn with 100 of a second, though it is still around for a team expert. We we'll also see Sky with a nice time of 102.72. World record is 102.83 by Dexter. Now I'm confused. I just thought that I saw Dexter with a Planet Key Dynamics tech in the Daddy Mania records. Now it says uh, Trip Mania Heroes United again. I don't know. I guess he's still playing for the? Correct me if I'm wrong. Going into the last round of this map, or possibly the last round as we have a score of 6-0. Let's see if HPD will be able to get at least one, score, uh, one point on the scoreboard in this round. But it's really looking grim. Only Burst again is able to make it out with the Team Expert guys in the front. At the moment, third position. We see Royal on fourth. Maybe coming back a bit. We see Link at the end of the field.
Let's go to Slink, who is still on second place. Hunted by Burst, but it looks like Bex and Slink will win the round for Team Expert, as well as Guy and Royal are placing fourth and fifth. So, another round for Team Expert, bringing the score up to 7 0, winning another round. Another map, of course. So we got a score of an overall score or a score of 2-0. And it is really looking good to this time finally make a really completely sweep, clean sweep. To be honest with you, I'll be quite happy if this match is over and I finally can rest and get to sleep soon. <laughs> I'm so done. Yeah, looks like Xader. Maybe we'll finally able to pull off uh, 21 to 0. We were close doing so in the last matches with scores of 21 to 2 and 21 to 1. So what can I say about the third map? This is a map I didn't really play myself, I guess I tried it on Monday, one day after the map pack came out. And I'll better do a good job of following one of the players through this round. Let's see who we got here, let's follow Zemi. As it is the first time we will see him play tonight. The start is quite easy. First drift is tight, but not too hard as well. The map uh, overall Seems to have a nice flow and now nah, don't seem to be too hard. No turns like on Crystal where you can screw up the whole map with one slight mistake. I guess, of course. I don't know the map myself, at least I don't know it really good so every one of the players is able to prove me wrong here. <laughs> I guess here you want to go for some speed and not too tight. The end seems to be pretty interesting as you have a really bumpy transition on the blue part. Followed by a really bumpy transition to a ramp leading to the finish line. I didn't see anyone crashing there yet. At least without their own fault because of the transitions or something. But we'll see, maybe this can happen as well. Last warm up for this round. And I guess this time we already have settled lineups before we even start. Let's go through it. Uh, through it. On HPD side, we got Toddy, Hanger, Vela. Nice to see him in this team. Uh, we got Optimus and Swiss. For Team Expert, we got Zemi, Royal, Link, Serbi, and Slink. So. Let's wait until the last warm-up is over and let's get started with the third map of this match. As we got some time left, let's go through the Denimania records. We see Royal having the world record with a time of 55.56. We see Zemi with a top 3 time of 55.58. Bex on place 6 with 55.62. Uh, Link on place 10 with 55.65. And Slink on place 12 with 55.67. So we got 5. Team expert players in 
the top 12 leading mania. We also see Hanger in there with a 55.71 on place 23 and Sky on place 25 with a time of 55.72. All right then, we're li no we're not. Still saying 3-0 for Team Expert, so the warm-up isn't over yet. I guess it will be after this round. What do you guys think? Shall we play some Rocket League after the maps, uh, the match, or... I mean, I'm damn tired, but I can't go to sleep right now because this is way too early. <laughs> and I need something to do for the rest of the evening. So, if anyone is interested, just tell me. We're going uh, live finally with the last... Wow, I'm way too close to the microphone. <laughs> um, we're going live with the last map of this evening's match. Going through the lineups again, we have HPD, Tolly, Hanger, Velle, Optimus and Swiss. On the expert side we got Royal, Link, Zemi, Zerbi and Slink. First round, here we go. Let's follow Swift, as he hasn't had uh, the best of starts, so we have a nice overview of the field. Oh no, and we already saw a team expert player dropping out. Let's wait for the next checkpoint to see who it was, as well as Swiss, who's making a mistake, as well as Wow, what is happening? Everyone making mistakes. We had Link and Serbi already dropped out. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Losing my voice as well now. SL or Horx? This is actually a pretty good question, I'm not sure at the moment. Um, I guess Horx has the better lineup in total though SL got the better players, like the better individuals in form of Neo and Shumi who did, uh, who are able to do great jobs. We saw Shumi doing a great job against us in the first match we played against SL. So if you would ask me to, uh, who will, who would win the match, I probably will go with Hawks. Because they just made a more motiva motivated... Uh, wow, this is unfortunate, failing the start at this point. Uh, yeah, I'd go with Hawks in a pretty close match though. So, meanwhile, we saw Team Expert taking the first round, going up to 1-0. Zemi was able to win it with a 56.02. How do we see so many players failing this turn? I don't... Wow. <laughs> what is happening on this map? Just from seeing it, I judged it pretty easy, though we're seeing a lot of mistakes here. I just wanted to switch to Zemi, who made another mistake in this round. This is crazy, we only have four players left without a mistake this round. Being Link Royal, Toddy and Serbi. Let's follow Serbi. Is currently at fourth position. Nearly messes up the end, but uh, manages to stay on the road. Wow, when do you need to get up, Xater? Link and Royal were able to win the round uh, to bring the score up to 2 0 in favor of Team Expert are now really looking into having a completely clean sweep and finishing this match with a 21-0 score. So far this is going really well. We see Serbi taking over the lead at the next checkpoint, maybe? No, he decides to crash, as well as Slink who already crashed. So let's follow Zemi for this one. We got Royal in the top, Zemi just Overtaken Link for place number two. Though I guess Link and Royal will come back with more speed from this turn. So let's see what Swiss is doing, hanging around in sixth position. 
not doing too not doing too good in the scoreboard after two rounds with overall points of seven. He will though add five to his already holding uh, seven points. Uh, Serbia and Slink weren't able to catch up to any of the HPD players, though Royal Link and Zemi are able to close out this round with a three player lead to bring up the score to 3 0. Starting round number four, following Swiss again. We already see the first mistakes, I guess, by both HPD and Team Expert players, as well as Swiss, who was dropping out again, but is able to overtake Link, who did another mistake. <laughs> Zemi as well. Wow, what is happening on this map, really? Everyone is failing so much, I don't know who I should follow. Let's go to, well, Swiss again, <laughs> as we at least get a nice overview about the four top positions. Slink had a bumpy uh, jump there. And gets overtaken by Swiss. Will he be able to stay in front of Slink for the last turn? Slink comes back with more speed and won't, wow, he won't be able to overtake Swiss in the last turn. Swiss stays ahead with six uh, thousandths of a second. This was really close. Though still no difference for the overall score as Expert is able to get another round. Royal won it with a 55.86, which is a nice time. It is only 3 tenths behind the world record. Though we already saw Royal uh, doing a 55.82, which is even better. So he, pro uh, he uh, shows that he is having the WR. And we... I don't get it. I don't get how you would fail there so so often. We have Sammy, Sammy in the lead. We saw Hanger making a mistake as well as Serbi. Let's switch to Royal. Who was able to overtake some players. Wow. Wow. This was unlucky. Tadi drove over the Ramstein and uh, bumped a bit. To totally destroy his line. Royal, meanwhile, were, uh, was able to sneak in front of nearly everyone. Only Zemi and now Lincoln Slink are in front of him. Being a uh, team expert for players lead, which is going like this to the finish line. To bring up the score to 5-0 in favor of team expert. Only two rounds left to make the perfect score of 21-0. And all, also only two rounds left for me to finish this match's cast, which is great as well. <laughs> Following Royal for the possible round before the last. Holding seventh position and we saw no mistakes so far, which is really great. Let's switch to the last position, which is Vela right now. Finally close round, so let's hope this will go like this to the finish line. If it would, it would be another round for Team Expert. Who are leading with Link together with Royal, Slink and Serbi is also up in the front. Though Swiss and Toddy are able to work their way up. And maybe we'll finish on good positions, though this is really looking to be another round for Team Expert. And yes, it will be. Only Swiss is uh, able to... Uh, <laughs> missing a word. He didn't allow uh, Team Expert to take another ace in this map, uh, on, in this match. <laughs> hey Burst, welcome to the chat. You did a uh, great job on the last map, I have to say. Really doing good. I guess you finished second in points. So, nice job there. Meanwhile, we s we're seeing Expert going in the lead again in the probably last round. Would be surprising to see HPD coming back from this and at least take taking one round. Okay, well, th third is still really good. 
We see Royal being on fifth position behind Slink, Optimus, Hangar, and Link. So HPD is trying, is really trying to win at least one round. Though it's still look, uh, looking, isn't looking too good as Link was able to overtake Hangar for the first position. And if it will go to the finish line like this, wow, what did Royal do there? <laughs> I don't know if I can say he close, was close to messing it up. At least it looked like. Though, this is indeed the final result. We got another 7 0 on map number 3. So, let's restart this, taking a screenshot. And we're done. 3 0 in total for Team Expert. Another victory making it nine points we got so far out of the group stage i guess we have two matches left i'm not sure i guess against spam and ck